Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and um, we've just come to look at this Ford Focus here. Just got it checked up. It's uh, got a loud noise from the exhaust. So let's start it up and have a listen. So here's the problem on this car. It's the O2 sensor port. And the sensor is here just dangling on the car. So the story with this car <coughs> is uh, she she's recently just bought it and believe it or not this DPF was fitted brand new she got a receipt for it uh, before she bought the car not long ago a week week or two before she bought it and a few days after she bought it the O2 sensor had fallen out the threads were cross threaded and they'd rounded off and someone's tried to fit a new O2 sensor again that's blown out because the thread is damaged inside here. Uh, so I came to look at this car a few days ago and now I'm back to see if I can just repair the thread. So I've brought this with me. It's a thread repair kit. It's a tap basically. M18. It's just got the right the right thread on it for the O2 sensor hole. And what's happening here is when you try and bolt in the O2 sensor, it just spins couple of threads in and then it just locks up or once you spin it a bit more it just falls back out uh, so the thread is damaged inside so I'm gonna get this on there see if we can tap the thread in repair it get that on that little turn and we'll uh, wind that in properly okay so we've worked the tap in and out a few times and we're gonna try and wind in this uh, sensor here hopefully it will be okay Otherwise, it's going to need some some uh, extra work. Just get that on there. Spots. Oh, proper tight. I can definitely say that's not going anywhere. I'll have to have a check back on the video. I think I might have said at the start. So it's the O2 center port on the DPF, but obviously this is a petrol, it's a catalytic converter. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit too uh, used to working on diesels, uh, just automatically say DPF, but you get the uh, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, you can see there it's, it's had a replacement put on, and uh, they tried to use the old O2 sensor, which the thread was damaged on, and that in turn damaged the thread on the new... Uh, catalytic converter. Uh, they then got bored with it uh, or they couldn't get a fix so they sold the car to this woman um, and they obviously didn't tell her that the uh, O2 sensor was wouldn't you know wouldn't go into the thread so she only had the car a few days before it popped out. Um, I came here a couple of days ago tried to put it back in it wasn't working um, so I had to go away and get that M18 tap, uh, it's a special size thread, so I didn't have one in the van there. So that, that's all done on that, we can uh, say that's a job all done. And um, I'm really surprised someone's actually put a new catalytic converter in this car, you know, it's, uh, it's an old car, it's not really worth a lot of money, but uh, it's going to keep running for another while. So let's get back inside, start it back up, see how different it sounds. Eh? That's how it should sound, and you'd even be surprised that uh, you know she was driving it around for a couple of days like that, and didn't even set off any uh, any engine lights or warnings, even though the O2 sensor wasn't even connected to the car or connected to the exhaust pipe. So that's the job all complete. Happy customer. She's got her cheap runaround car. It's still working there.